This video shows how to mark a model element as being constrained or a hard point. In other words, it's something that can't be changed or modified in any way. Uh, my, and this is courtesy Jeff Carter, a coworker brought it up, and uh, my team and I discussed it and decided that a stereotype could be applied to any model element, but we chose the word immutable for it because constrained uh, sounds too much like constraint, which is a requirement type. So we'll go ahead and create a stereotype here. We'll call it immutable. And we'll go ahead and define it. And say the stereotypes apply to model elements that cannot be modified. The documentation we use to indicate the rationale. Uh, you could also apply a relationship and trace it or do something else. But basically, there we go. Oh, I spelled it wrong, so we'll correct that. So we now have the immutable stereotype. And I want this to be very visible uh, in the model if we apply it to something. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually apply an icon to this. And I purchased this from iconfinder.com for a buck and a half. And now we have this nice big stop sign uh, icon. Uh, the other one I had had an infinity symbol, and it just didn't render well in the containment tree. So now this is very visible. And so if we go in here, and let's say we decide that physical port 1 uh, cannot be, cons or is, is, a, is a immutable, we'll go ahead and apply that. And now you can see it shows up very nicely. And let's say uh, physical subsystem 2 is also immutable. And we'll go ahead and apply it to that. And so now if we look at the IBD for the physical system here, these should show up very nicely also in the IBD. So uh, let's go ahead and display all these. Notice it even shows up here as we render it. And let's go ahead and see what we get. So interesting. So it does not show up on... Uh, physical subsystem 2 so we should have to go to symbol properties here and we have to say to show the stereotype icon and now it does show up so we can make that um, the default is if we wanted to find all the things in the entire model uh, that had the immutable, stere immutable stereotype applied we can just create a generic table immutable elements we can drag the stereotype in here. No, we didn't fully customize. We want this to be able to be applied to anything. So we make the immutable stereotype the criteria, and we look at the entire model, and in a matter of seconds, we'll have everything in the model that has the immutable stereotype. There we go. And so we know who owns it. And um, probably wouldn't hurt to see what the um, what type of elements it is. So we'll show the applied stereotype. You can see that it's a block and they're physical. So there we go. That's a good start. So then now you can see exactly what has it and um, if it's defined as anything. So there you have it. There's how to find all the immutable elements in your entire model. And uh, makes it really easy to find them.